heavy. Bored. But no, I mean, I think that he was hugely influential. I think he continues to be hugely influential. I think rereading it, I was afraid to reread this because I was like, oh, am I going to find this really fucking annoying? And to be honest, like a little. <laughs> uh, yeah, like we said, there are parts I mean, where I got a little, oh, it's a little long winded, but. But I think that also just happens, you know, like I think that this is very much. Like, wasn't he, like, sort of younger when he was writing these poems? I mean... Very young, uh, yeah. And I, th I think you can feel that, right? Yeah, you can feel that, but they have such a resonance. Like, there's that little bit of youngness, and this is why people say counterculture, and we talked about this as a reoccurring theme on the podcast, because there's always this concern... And a couple writers write about it honestly, and when we can get stuff like that, we Sophie and I talk about it as we prep for these episodes. There is like, you know, just being a part of this this youthful kind of rejection of what we would call we would call it counterculture, but it's a very youthful rejection of the established kind of way yeah, of life, even if it's not even stream. bad. Yeah, even if but it's also not even like bad. an embrace of it, because I wouldn't say he totally rejects it. I think that on some level he also embraces it as like a "this is the world" kind and of I way. Think... There is no resources, American resources. Being bored. You know, some activities are not intentional. Right? It shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Forward. Unite sweats and the day sweats, pal. Pal, I do. 